Oh, I'll get you a card as well. Appreciate all the Thank support. You. Get my hat and whatnot. Yeah, oh. Give us these. That's in case uh, oh. keep that in your truck there. We got, we got a comedian here. Funny. I'm Noah Gregson, 21 years old from Las Vegas, Nevada. I drive the number nine PUBG Mobile Chevy Camaro for Junior Motorsports. This week, we're headed to Dover, Delaware. Get my toiletry bag. Um, that's pretty much it. I got everything I need, socks, shoes, shirts for my iPad. I have to have the long charger for whenever I'm on the road or at home. Really the only reasons I use my iPad is for PUBG Mobile and for doing driver debriefs post race. After we get home from a long race weekend, I'll fill out my notes, describe what the car was handling like, what the track was handling like. Gotta have a good charger um, with this big cube. Gotta stay juiced up, ready to go. So throw that in there. Really low key, that's all I have. Uh, when I go to the racetrack, I'm all packed up for this weekend at Dover. Let's hit the road. Headed into Dover this weekend. There's a lot of pressure, a lot of nerves up. It's going last race of the first round. We're eliminating four drivers out of the playoff. We're sitting 25 points to the good right now in seventh position, but that still does not have me sleeping comfortably at night. It's gonna be an extremely challenging race. It's, it's a tough track, Dover. Um, there's a lot of wrecks all the time. You could blow a right front tire at any given moment, ending your day and ending your race and quite possibly ending your season with this being the, the final race of the playoff cutoff race. So with that being said, I'm not sleeping comfortably. We've prepared all week long. We've done everything we could to get the car as fast as possible. Now it's just time to get out there on the racetrack and go do our jobs. I just think once you get that good start and have that good background, it's just going to be, it's going to come and start coming. Right. It's tough. Yeah. I, tried, I tried to give you all the simulator time I could this time, but it, it helped. I'm glad it helped. That was a lot. But anyway, yeah. you need something to holler, right? Yes, sir. Good to see you. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. This weekend we were seventh in the first practice and I think fourth in the second practice so I was really happy with the speed in our car and the handling I knew the track was gonna tighten up and kind of lose front grip as the weekend went on and what I needed for the race so I knew I had to be kind of on the loose side have the car turning really really well and just dial as much grip in as possible and I felt like we did our jobs in practice Noah this week, remember, got advice from Jimmy Johnson about running this track. It was so different than what Nomar normally did that he was worried about changing his game this far into the playoffs. I've changed up my driving style in the simulator, preparing for this weekend, just trying to use every bit of information that I've learned from Jimmy Johnson this week. He's, he's obviously the best there, so if I can try to replicate what he does around Dover, hopefully we can have some success this weekend. On that one. Uh, the rest of us. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Wow. Yours is right there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. Thank you. That's the best looking one on the page. <laughs> the other one sucks. Thank you so much. They're, they're all really good, but the other drivers suck, right? <laughs> Tell them. Say that's the best driver on the page. All the drawings are good. Nice job, man. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I like your backpack. He wants to race. You want to race? Look at that. You like that car? It's a cool <laughs> race car, huh? You got it? Where are you from? Oh, New Jersey. New Jersey, huh? You. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. You ready for the race today? Mm -hmm. It's going to be Hopefully fun. Win, oh, yeah. Nice paint scheme. Thank you. you like it? You play PUBG Mobile? Yeah. You do play? Yeah. I got a couple of You take these pictures? I did, yes. 
They look good. Thank you. They look good. There you go. Oh, I'll get you a card as well. Appreciate all the Thank support. You. Get my hat and whatnot. Yeah, oh. Give us these just in case uh, oh. keep that in your truck we got, there. For we next got time. a comedian here. <laughs> Funny. Got some comedians over here, huh? Getting me a couple gifts there? Yeah. Let us know how you're feeling about today. Oh, you I'll take some <laughs> Um, yeah, your thoughts, man. I mean, it's, it's a monster mile for you. Is it a, is a, is it an intimidating track? Are you scared of the track? No, I'm not scared. I just, uh, scared. it's a tough, tough track. And it's very, very challenging. It's concrete, so we only race on concrete four times a year. Um, here twice and here and in Bristol twice. So with that being said, it's extremely challenging just to kind of get into a different mindset and then it's Dover. There's no place like it. It's, uh, it'll grab you and spit you out uh, fast. They call it Miles the Monster. So it's, it's going to be a fun day. I feel like our, our car is really fast and I'm excited for the race. With this being my first time in the playoffs in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, there's a lot of pressure, especially for myself. I'm a rookie driver. I haven't been to some of these tracks in the playoffs, so it makes it really challenging and, and a lot of pressure on my shoulders to get the job done for not only myself, but for my race team and junior motorsports as a whole as a company. So putting a lot of preparation in, it's, it's challenging and it's stressful at times, but the way that I can kind of take that pressure and that stress off of me is with PUBG Mobile and to be able to talk to my friends and kind of get away from all the racing pressure and everything that comes along with that. So I like to sit down on the couch, grab my iPad and play some PUBG Mobile and have some fun with my friends. Hey, what's up? Hey, you want to play PUBG Mobile? Yeah, let's get on. All right, I'll hop on. Shit. I got some cool outfits. I like to buy a lot of the crates. Um, Ooh, RP baby. I am Royal Pass right now. Gotta wipe the screen down. PUBG Mobile and NASCAR have a lot in similarity. It, they, they pretty much go hand in hand. You have a lot of strategy, both with PUBG Mobile, you have a lot of strategy with the NASCAR, and then just staying on your toes and, and being aware of your surroundings is a big part of, of both the, the game and NASCAR racing. When I'm out on the racetrack, I feel like kind of tips and tricks I learned from PUBG Mobile and kind of habits I still use on the racetrack of my awareness, where cars are around me, and then also the strategy part where we're always having to adapt and change and move our line around on the racetrack and changing where we are driving wise. So we're always adapting and changing and, and have to be aware of our surroundings on where other cars are around us. Game. Game. He's laying down. It's game. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, baby. That's what we come here to do. Revenue. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's how we do it. And the home of the Gorgeous afternoon for racing. Green flag is out and elimination Saturday underway. There's a lot of adversity in the race, starting from lap one, turn one and two. We went through the corner. The guy who started right in front of me spun out. We got hit just a little bit on the right side. Here's the 18 and look at the nine squeeze by. We made it through that wreck. Didn't get too torn up through it. so. Uh, the PUBG Mobile Camaro was still running really good. We were able to make up spots throughout the race, and then on our second to last pit stop, the pit crew gun on the left side, it failed, it broke. Pit gun failure and the nine of Noah Gregson, they had to come back down pit road to tighten the left rear. Oh no, he was running really, really well. Now he's got to start in the back of the pit road. After I was going to start in second, I had to start in the back of the field to start that last run. And that that really took a toll on where I thought we were going to finish and kind of hurt where we were going to end up. I felt like we had winning speed, felt like we had winning strategy. It just didn't play out in our favor. Here comes Gregson. Oh, not able to get in the gas. 
Here he's playing with the throttle, got really tight on corner exit. And again, a little bit higher up the racetrack. Here comes Noah Gregson, he goes by him. Overall, we came back for seven after being two laps down there with about 15 laps to go and came back for a seventh place finish on the lead lap. So it was a solid day. We wish it would have went better, but you can't control what we can't control. So I know I wanted that winter, winter chicken dinner, but unfortunately it's gonna have to wait till Kansas next week. Tune in next time where we go to Kansas to chase another chicken dinner.